I am your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and today we're going to deal with Essencology. This is Essencology Q&A, and I am your host. Today I want to talk about something that is a rage in today's world. It's a very, I'll say, innovative approach to an old ideal. It's a very fresh approach to an ancient concept that is actually biblical. Let's dive right in. I want to talk about mindfulness today. The scripture tells us to meditate day and night on the Word of God, on the laws and the precepts of God, and this would lead us into a state of blessing. And so it indicated that if one is to be empowered, if one is to be successful in spiritual things and in life, that it's best to meditate on the laws of God. Meditation then, especially when we deal with the spiritual aspect of the scripture, I think in many cases is very, very often neglected. When we speak of meditation, meditation is simply a musing upon the scriptures or the laws of God. Musing then simply is repeating the word within the mind and uttering the terms and uttering the words and fathoming to understand what the scripture is saying concerning life and concerning the will and the processes of God. When we look at the text, we can begin to understand the importance of meditation, specifically as it relates to modern science and how science has once again proven that the Word of God is literal and that the Word of God is viable. Not that we wait on science to do anything, but we now simply confirm reality by allowing science to catch up. And so I want to talk about what the rave is in today's time, mindfulness. Mindfulness is a type of meditation in which you focus on being intensely aware of what you're sensing and feeling in the moment without interpretation or judgment. When we deal with the practicing of mindfulness, it involves breathing methods, guided imagery, and other practices to relax the body and mind, and to help reduce stress. And so when we talk about scriptural meditation, it deals with, again, calming the mind, but instead of just imagining things on what you want to do, we focus specifically in essence we focus on the Word of God. There is great importance in meditation because it has been found through research, neuro neurological research, and uh, many other different types of research that there is such a thing within the human brain called the reticular activating system. And you're going to hear me talk about this quite often because it's quite important in forging and shaping how we think. The reticular activating system has many unique specialities and functions in the human brain. But primarily, one of the things that it's known for is what psychoanalysts and neurologists, counselors, and life coaches talk about as far as the stationing of your mind. The reticular activating system within the brain enables you to continually focus on what you deem is important. And this is why we are told to take our mind to the point where we stay it on the Word of God, where we meditate day and night. It is a consistent focusing on. And so the difference between mindfulness and what as oncologists consider to be meditation, is simply what you're meditating on. There is no judgment in our meditation because our meditation is specifically on the Word of God. And when we find that our minds are drifting from the Word of God, we simply bring our minds back to the focus of the Word of God. And so if we want to talk about mindfulness, is it new? Not really. How long has it been around? Over 2,000 years. 
where do we find evidence of thought projected uh, balance that shapes our behavior we find it in the word of god for the scripture says and as he thinketh so is he we're out of time i thank you i'm your host dr Derek a reeves and i pray that you've gotten something out of this small session may god be with you god bless and keep you until next time god bless <music>